You've been here before, uh, and, and then uh, about a month ago, uh, we went out um, and we uh, we did yeah. day drinking together. That it was, was uh, something else. You and your brothers, uh, me and my brother, uh, our friend, our, our friend in common, Jack McBrayer. Yep. Did this... you? Uh, were you? Uh, did you? Was it what you expected as far as how much we drank? No, we have a bone to pick. Yeah. Okay. And that bone to pick is that that is real. Yeah. That is no joke. Oh, we're on TV. I can't say that. Yeah. Uh, well, it was something else. Yeah, we drank a lot and in we drank two hours. A lot, and I had a meeting directly following. Oh, this you can't do a meeting. Because I assumed that this would be like TV fake, drinking. Yeah, like yeah, TV yeah. TV drinking. Um, but you know, I will say, I think you and I held our own. We drank best. the most. Yeah. We, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we did drink the most. I felt the worst, and 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 uh, uh, you and your brother uh, Kevin uh, received the most. Uh, yeah, shaming. He did. Because he has he has two children and he drinks and the least. He yeah. drinks the least. I have two children and I did fine. You did fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kevin, <laughs> Kevin tried. He did. Really hard. Jack tried. Yeah, Jack tried Actually, really hard. Sweet, sweet Jack. Yeah, sweet, sweet Jack. Um, he did his best. But to... all in all, it was a, a really great memory, what I can remember of it. Well, uh, that's why it's nice that it's committed to film, although I'm always yeah. dread when I see the first cut of it because I don't have any memory of it either. One thing that I was very impressed with <laughs> is we drew uh, uh, song titles that we did not see in advance, yeah. and then we're uh, told to give five minutes to write a song. You guys wrote a very good song in five minutes. It was it was uh, it disheartening. Was, uh, really a scandalous song. It was a scandalous song. There was it was. Uh... Hey, mom, dad. Yeah, we did this day drinking thing. Maybe don't watch the song portion. <laughs> yeah. um, no, it was it's a cool. beautiful song. Beautiful. I will say it's the most beautiful song I've ever heard that has a line about a 69 er Yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> leave it. Leave it to the Jonas Brothers. Leave it to, to the Jonas Brothers. I feel like yeah. I feel like it's a. It doesn't get enough uh, uh, shout outs in, in romance songs. Add it to the set. Yeah. <laughs> add it to the set for right sure. Right next to all the Camp Rock songs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, now, I knew that you, uh, you had not gone to college. Uh, obviously, it made sense. You had Thank a lot you going for reminding on. me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I didn't realize that you went and looked at one, uh, which was my, uh, my alma mater. You went to Northwestern. You went, you went the, to Northwestern? I did, yeah. Amazing. Yeah, and you went on the, you went on the campus tour. I did. I, I went in, back in 2008 or 9. Uh, we were on tour. Yeah. Uh, we stopped in Chicago, and, and I had, you know, a dream of going to college to, to study being a writer, a journalist, something. Um, and I went with my dad to visit the, the campus, and it turned into kind of like a scene from Hard Day's Night. It was Because you a, were very well known at that, that point. At that point, yeah, it was yeah. very difficult. Maybe um, a little too late to be normal at college. Yeah. Perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the real dream was to, to try to walk onto the baseball team and play. Wow. Which I know we share sports in common. Yes, but you, uh, but you actually had... Uh, do you actually have skills, do you think, to have played college baseball? <laughs> no, I'm impressed. That was I, the most polite way. Yeah. <laughs> now, and, and now why and did you do think you, that? Yeah. Are you talented? <laughs> um, I, at that point, played a lot of baseball. Yeah. I probably didn't have the size uh, then to, to play and be competitive, but I always loved it. And then um, because I loved it, uh, I kept it up, and we got really into uh, slow-pitch softball. OK, gotcha. So it's, 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 uh, it's like baseball, but it's slow. <laughs> yeah. Um, for, you know, untalented people. <laughs> uh, this is, you've been on The Voice before, but this is your first year in the yeah. chair. Uh, and I, uh, this was a bigger deal. When you first got this offer to do a full season in the chair, uh, your wife, uh, very excited. Oh, she's a big fan of the show. Yeah. And has been for a long time. Um, and so she was there with me when I got the call. And, you know, it was kind of a, a conversation that had started with uh, NBC um, after Songland, which was uh, such a great experience for us, working with Ryan Tedder. And uh, for those that haven't seen the show, it's one of my, my favorite shows on TV. Um, and after we did that show, they then called and said, you know, we'd like to talk to you about The Voice. And she flipped out. Um, and she came to set, and she saw the chair. And <laughs> I'll say that when I saw the chair, too, there's something that happened. I got a little, uh, you know, sort of goosebump moment as I looked at it. It's really cool. I mean, it's, as you look to your left and your right, it's John Legend, Kelly Clarkson, and Blake, and um, kind of a dream to be in that spot, and I feel very honored. I mean, I have a, a heart full of gratitude, especially since it's now aired, and uh, my team is awesome. Now, I know you can't... <laughs> now, we've, you've shot some. Yeah. But you, you, the, so you even you now don't know it's going to end because obviously we have live shows to find that out. But do you yeah. feel how are you, how's your confidence? I huh? feel very, very yeah. good. Okay. And I'm not just saying that. Gotcha. Um, the way that things have shaken out 
And it's pretty cool. I feel like the cast of Game of Thrones, perhaps, but with <laughs> way less blood and... and yeah, lower yeah, stakes. Lower yeah. stakes. <laughs> you uh, just finished up a tour, yes? Yes. And uh, very exciting. April, uh, you're going to be... Uh, you start a residency, a month-long residency in Las Vegas. Yes. Are you excited? We are so excited. We, um, we kind of, you know, we're viewing this in a way, because this last year... Uh, has been one of the most remarkable years of all of our lives. Just to be able to reconnect his family. We, t we talked about it a bit, day drinking, but it was sort of <laughs> yeah. a drunken conversation. But yeah, I don't remember any yeah. of that. Yeah. <laughs> to reconnect his family and then to have the music connect in the way it has with our amazing fans who stuck by us through the time we needed a part is really special. And then, you know, to do this 90-something stop tour um, across the, the world was really special, but to then kind of view this as a, a, a bit of a, a final hoorah for this era, the Happiness Begins era, uh, is really special. So if you're going to be in Vegas, <laughs> we could day drink again or whatever. Uh, and those, day gamble? Day gamble. Yeah. Um, but we're really excited to put on a, a, an you know, amazing show for our fans out there in Vegas. And... There's been a really cool thing that's happened, I feel like, in the last decade plus of, uh, you know, sort of younger musicians in the, like, sort of peak of their career going out to Vegas and, and making it possible for people from all over to see them, which I think exactly, is really cool. Exactly, yeah. We're, we're very excited. It should be fun. Uh, that's great. Uh, good luck in The Voice. I'm rooting for you. Thank uh, you. And it's always great to see you. Thanks so much for being here. Good to see you. Let's make sure